Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team. I'm also founder of Quick Admin Panel Generator and today will be a quick demo of a mini project based on Quick Admin Panel but also explaining some stuff. So uh, while browsing Upwork uh, tasks for ideas what demo projects to create, I saw this one simple CRM creation and I was interested specifically in one point. So this one, this one. So create front-end solution to, for the ability to register, activation link, so that comes from default Laravel, but this one doesn't. And this is pretty common function in all the apps, most of the apps, but it doesn't come from default Laravel. So registering new uh, user and then approval from the admin. And let's generate that with quick admin panel and then I will explain the code, how it actually works under the hood. And also we will add email sending from user to admin and from system to user when the profile gets approved. Let's go with quick admin panel first and let's create a new panel called approval demo. Uh, let's stick to default settings for now. Uh, it will create a panel, it will start generating files, but meanwhile we can uh, install a module which will, which will actually be used, which is called registration. So by default our quick admin panel comes with just login for administrator, but you can enable registration as well. And this is the, the checkbox that we actually need. User will require administrator approval. So that comes within our system. We can install that. And then we will download the code. I will install it locally and show you how it works under the hood. Okay, so we click download the code. We unarchive that. And this is our project, which we just uh, install locally. So here I've done composer install. Also, we need uh, generate the key and run migration. So migrate fresh because I have some data already so I will do fresh migration with saving the data and that would be default user management application with registration with approval. Let's launch that in browser. Uh, I already have the domain prepared for that q1.test and that's it. So if we log in as administrator we have user management, nothing else. Should be user management, users, right? Uh, and then when we log out, approved, yes. So this is the column. Let's log out and let's try to register. With form filler with fill dummy data, we register. And that should have this notice. So your account needs an administrator approval in order to log in. You can customize that text so they would be able to log in but every time they will see this until until a, uh, an admin user would actually approve them so admin would go to users would see a new user and this one approved no and just check the checkbox approved saved and then that person would be able to log in so that is how it works now how it looks in the code so question, what do we need to do to show this statement? We need to check every time someone logs in if they are approved or not, right? So that is done by a middleware. And this is not that difficult. Uh, from default Laravel, we have only three files to change. First, uh, the field approved, which is bo boolean and default false, so not approved. You can do that in the same migration, in the first user migration, or create a new migration for specifically that field. That is your choice. Uh, so that is for approved. And then we have a middleware. Uh, we called it approval middleware. Uh, and what it does is if the user lo is logged in but not approved, uh, then we log out and redirect back to login form with session message your accounts needs approval, which is exactly this one, this text. Uh, and then in login blade, uh, we added this. If session has message, well, actually more pretty way to do that would be use helper instead of facade. And I'll probably fix that in quick admin panel after this video. So that should be 
uh, session message shown and how do we register that middleware we just add that in HTTP kernel file where we have all the middlewares registered in the web group which is called by default on every web page so we don't need to change anything in controllers or in routes uh, anywhere so our routes remain the same if we go to routes web uh, we have middleware auth, we don't have anywhere middleware approval or something like that. We register that directly in kernel for all the web requests. It would be approval middleware called. Uh, which means that every time someone logs in, they log in successfully, but then uh, if they're not approved, they log out with a message. Now, final thing what we need to do in this video is to send emails to admin and to user whenever someone uh, needs to be approved. So we need to deal with registration controller now. Well, register controller it's called. We need to modify this one. Uh, on successful registration, we need to send an email to administrator, right? Uh, it will look something like this. Uh, I will write uh, for now pseudocode. Uh, and we will fill it in with real data later. So we have a user now, then we would need to get the administrators and that would depend on your system. I will write how it's done in quick admin panel generated code, but maybe for you it would be different. So user uh, where, where something get and then we will do for each administrators as administrator we will uh, use notification function of Laravel so it would be administrator notify it would be new some notification class notification class and parameter would be user so we will notify admin about new user something like that for now everything uh, is missing and we will create it step by step so first let's get the administrators and in our case, it is uh, user role has uh, belongs to many relationship. So we have roles and callback function would be uh, for query would be query where roles, uh, where roles title equals admin. In the database, uh, sorry, uh, in the database, in the database we have this. So we have two roles and then role user uh, belongs to many relationship for users and this admin will be only one admin in our case only one user has role ID one so uh, by this we will have administrators and now let's create notification class uh, for that we go to terminal and do PHP artisan make notification uh, admin new user notification for example I like to uh, suffix the classes uh, by what they do, so notification ends with notification, just to make it more readable and, and searchable. And default notification has email, and let's uh, change that to the actual what we need. So new user has registered, uh, and we need to specify user name and email. And that would be a parameter to notification, which would be accepted in constructor um, in constructor parameter. So first, let's have it as private private variable, private property, and then in construct we pass all the user object and then assign it to private property. So this user will be equal to user parameter. Uh, let's add also. user user like this uh, so PHP storm wouldn't underline that and then we have this user and we can uh, use that here so news user has registered so this user name and for example email would be like this so this user email a notification action is a button so instead of just notification action we will uh, tell admin to log in to admin panel to approve and URL would be different it would be a route to that specific user editing in our case again it's in quick admin panel generated code but it should be pretty similar something in your uh, in your form so users edit route with a parameter of this user ID and we don't need this line 
Right, so we have the notification class, which is called admin new user notification. And now let's copy paste it to here. Admin user notification. Uh, and that should be it. Uh, and the final thing, we need to return the user here. Uh, because it expects the user to be returned. Uh, I guess that's it. Let's try it out. I've set up uh, I've set up the mail mail trap to test it. So then let's try to register again. Uh, form filler with something. We click register, and we expect the email to come to admin. Uh, this is the expected result. Account needs to be approved, and in the email inbox we have admin new user notification. So new user has registered name and email. And if we click login to admin panel, if you see in the bottom left corner, there's URL admin users six edit. We click that. Uh, it should automatically redirect to login, but it will remember the, the session URL and it will automatically redirect to edit uh, form of that user. So this is step one. We inform the admin uh, that new user is registered. Now we need to inform the user that uh, they have been approved. And for that, we will need to edit uh, users controller uh, in admin. And here I am, I have that opened already. It's admin users controller, also generated by Quick Admin Panel, but it should be pretty similar in your application as well. So we have update uh, function, update method to update the user. And what we need to do first, we need to save the old approved value user uh, approved and then after the saving we check if uh, approved equals zero so it was not approved and request approved equals one for example actually user approved probably should be appropriate user approved equals one and then we send the notification and we generate another notification so artisan make notification user approved notification okay success we have that user approved and your user has been approved uh, please log in please log in and URL would be route login I think Cloud login, uh, and I guess that's it. So we need to notify the user, uh, which is user, notify uh, new user approved notification. And that's it, we don't need any parameters. So we don't need to specify the user itself. They know uh, what they're getting. And let's test it out. So let's check the checkbox, click save and see if we get the email. Yep, it's loading, it's approved, yes, so everything is fine, and then we have user approved notification. User has been approved, please log in, the URL is correct to log in, and I guess that's it, so that is the end of this demo. So that is how you can approve users and uh, just be notified of this, uh, of the new uh, user. I will put that whole code on GitHub and you can feel free to use that or check out our quick admin panel generator to generate that of uh, that kind of admin panel and to save some time. See you guys in other videos.